Assalamualaikum. Selamat sejahtera. Dengar tak saya cakap? Boleh je cakap mikrofon tu. Waalaikumsalam. Dengar tak tak? Okey. Ah. Okey. <laughs> ah, saya ada letak link Google Form. Ah, you all boleh isi kat dalam tu attendance. Sebenarnya saya tak ada meet attendance ni. So saya akan tally balik lah. Sekarang you all nampak tak yang saya present PowerPoint tu? Hmm, jap. Hmm. Ada nampak tak? Ke tak nampak? Nampak. nampak. Ada eh? Ha, ada, ada. Saya present lah. So, shall we start? Yes. Are you ready? So, uh, yes. good. So, Mom can you all see my screen day. now? Yes. Yes, yes. good. Okay. Uh, so, can we start? Yes, doctor. First of all, Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon. Apa khabar semua? Baik. Hai. Khabar baik. Khabar baik. Khabar baik, doktor. Okay, it's not as I saw the view. So, uh, let me, kejap eh. Let me, um, but you all can see me kan? So, yes. tak apalah. Tengok je lah muka lecture doko ni. Okay. Um, alright. So, um, today uh, we do live recap, revision and try out saja untuk basic organic chemistry. I can see, I can hear people coming in still. So let me let them in first. Um, okay. So um your attendance will be actually monitored by your yeah. attendance. Um I also need you to write in chat section or the form, eh? So kalau ada kawan-kawan belum masuk dalam Google Form, you can um ada orang. Um for those who are thirsty, can you unmute can you mute your uh, speaker? So that other friends can hear me. Siapa yang speaking for me? Um, I think it's uh, it's it's yes. Sa Sai Sai Tai. Would you kind? Yeah, doctor. Would you can can you mute your speaker because ah uh, I can see some noise. I can hear some noise from you. Okay, oh. so, so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, if anybody who wants to, to speak, please do so. Sebab nanti introduk, kita ada 103, 104 now. Uh, so it might interrupt some friends who, are, who wants to speak. Okay. So let me just recap my attendance first so that I don't miss anybody. Um, okay. Uh, first of all, kalau ada di kalangan you all yang tahu kawan-kawan yang tak ada internet langsung ke apa, let me know. So that nanti untuk test dengan exam, I can figure something out lah. Okay, so can we just start? So, <clears throat> first and foremost, uh, we are going to have midterm on 29 of May, um, which is Friday next week, right? So, um, the class registration uh, quizzes, um, saya can see that not many have registered yet. And some of you are registered uh, for all three groups. Some of you registered twice dalam satu group yang sama which is group B. So yesterday I did sorted things out lah. So make sure you only register once and you register on your group. So uh, I, I still have these people that have yet to register eh. Saya minta you all register. Let me show you my Excel document registration quiz. So in group A, these are the people, the green ones are the ones that I've noted that they're registered. So the white ones are those that haven't registered yet. So group A quite okay. However, if you see group B, there are many still. Uh, Tan, for example, are not yet there but I can see you that you are in the Google Meet. So after the Google Meet session completed, you might want to um, uh, add the, um, yeah, uh, show me your, uh, Register lah dekat dalam ni. Okay. So um, I need to have 134 students to come in. Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. I need permission. You need permission to? Go quiz this eh? I, I don't know whether it's quizzes or what. The document. The document Google's one. The document Google one? Oh, maybe quiz, I don't know. Uh, if you, for quizzes, for quizzes, you don't need to uh, permission or anything, you just register. Can anybody answer? Attendance, because, doctor. Attendance? Ah, sebab Google saya buka, buka, buka pun tak boleh. 
need permission. Oh, ya yeah, ke? Oh, sebab you all luar campus kot. Maybe lah kot. Haa, ah, lemak macam mana ni? Maybe you can, kita continue buat macam tadi lah. Uh, you all write you punya name, uh, full name for example, let me, full name, metric number dengan group kat sini. Alright. Eh, saya tunjuk kat sini. So what you do ialah you copy paste. Uh, just copy everything here like this, copy and then put it there and then you can write your name and everything. Boleh ke? It might take some time lah sebab I didn't know Google form tu patutnya okay. Let me just go to my... Where guna email siswa? Email siswa pun tak boleh eh? Dia kata need permission guna is it? email siswa boleh. Email siswa boleh. Sekejap saya share lagi tu of name. Okay, is there anybody coming in? Oh Fatih you nak pergi mana tu? Macam dalam highway je? Okay. Alright. Okay, sekejap eh. Okay, so let's start. Okay, kita berapa kali start dah ni? Okay, so quizzes uh, again, uh, I'll show you group B ram masih ramai yang belum register. Group C also masih banyak yang tak register lagi. So make sure you register before coming uh, ni lah. Okay. Now, uh, yang tu dah sorted. Okay, I need these numbers to reduce so that we can have 134 students by uh, before uh, 29 lah. Now let's recap what uh, is your courseworks. Uh, the purpose sebenarnya saya nak meet up dengan you all ni firstly sebab saya dah lama pun tak jumpa you all kan. So I don't know what you are up to. I can hear that some of you are attending some classes juga still. So um, saya tak buat kelas sebab sebenarnya you all masih meet term. So that's my reason lah. Okay, uh, so your midterm test which is going to be held on the 29th is only 10%. So my code will be given at 9.30am and it's quizzes is very simple lah actually. Um, so it's like a game thing. Okay, uh, the purpose of that because kita buat online. So I don't want you to feel burden using um, the, uh, the typical um, way of doing tests. Huh? Uh, so uh, this is the recap, um, individual assignment 10% tu sebenarnya is done. So actually I've uh, extended the date for deadline twice already. Okay so um, kalau yang tak sempat ke warna tu sorry sebab saya dah bagi ruang yang sangat panjang lah untuk individual assignments. However untuk group assignments is going to be 26 June together with the practical report. Uh, sesiapa yang ada pandangan or whatever you can just, if you have question you can also ask me ya. Yeah. So untuk uh, uh, group assignment dengan uh, practical report, both of them will be uploaded in the My Guru uh, untuk group assignment submission site as well as lab report submission site. Untuk group assignment submission site, uh, saya dah bagi format hari tu uh, dan class rep juga ada tanya saya. So if you have any question please ask me now so that I can answer you terus. So list of group members uh, saya dah terima dan saya harap nobody is left out without the group lah. So I'm, I want everybody especially Azani, Zikri and Eriska to ensure this. If there is a student without the group, that means dia kata doktor boleh tak saya nak buat seorang, uh, I don't let you because this is group assignment. So if you do it on your own, uh, perhaps I will not give you any marks, okay. Make sure you have group now. So untuk practical report, uh, we uh, still have two reports uh, pending. Okay, we still have two reports pending. So I um, I want everybody, uh, I was told that many of you tertinggal um, report, tertinggal data dekat campus, is it? Right? So anybody can answer? Yes, yes? doctor. Okay, so I, uh, saya dah bagi permission untuk you all ambil kawan punya data but you can also credit your friends lah. Okay, so that uh, you tak tinggal data and then kita hanya depending dua eksperimen that will be included in my plan for you all. Okay, let me show you my plan untuk SKO 3013 um, so that kita boleh discuss sekarang if you have any thoughts. Boleh ke? Alright. So untuk basic organic chemistry, can you all see this or do I need to besarkan lagi? Can you all see this or you don't? Yes, yes, can see doctor. Okay, can yes, you see yes, doctor. Yes. Okay, good. 
So untuk saya uh, sebenarnya because bila I buat survey on my own and then I see the faculty punya survey ah bila I tengok faculty punya survey and you tak semua orang jawab survey tu first and foremost tapi bila I tengok my group so I dah sorted let me show you my kind of sorting dekat SKO 3013 so this is my sorting for you guys uh, ada group A B C C semua lah so um bila I tengok tu I can see that Lama yang kata dia ada limited internet. Bagi saya sebenarnya bukan limited internet yang lain tu. Tapi kuota. Bila semester start, you all akan banyak guna kuota. That's why saya buat yang test dengan hari ini dengan you all lah. So saya hanya schedule sekarang ni tiga sahaja live session. Okay, only three live sessions due to limitation of network. So uh, macam hari ni kita buat lah sebenarnya. So I'm very surprised that I have 117 of you today. Very very surprised. Sebab uh, I thought that Not many is here lah. Okay. Uh, oh, Nur Hafiza is presenting as well. Okay. So, uh, because of this, saya akan, these are my plans. Okay. If you can't see, let me know. If you can see, perhaps let me know as well. So, um, online test kita akan buat minggu depan eh. So, two weeks prior, that means this today, we are doing revision live lesson. Uh, and try out before kami semester. Uh, cuma saya nak tanya pandangan you all. Uh, untuk week what, week 6 which will begin on the 3 Jun macam tu, uh, adakah kita nak buat macam ni lagi which which is everybody together sebab saya ada maksimum 250 participant and I have only 134 students. Kita nak buat satu live session macam ni je ke atau you all nak buat kelas asing-asing? Let me know. Pandangan you all macam mana? Ya, yeah. sebab kalau kelas asing-asing, ah. saya ikut actually waktu yang saya letak kat sini sebenarnya adalah jadual you all uh, punya kelas. Jadual kelas ah. saya ikut ni. Kecuali you all rasa nak buat macam ni juga. Kita buat satu last session je untuk semua orang. Macam mana? Kalau itu mudahkan doktor untuk buat satu kelas je, okey je. Oh, saya saya tak kalau apa. Orang, kalau semua orang boleh jadi survey survey dulu semua orang boleh join kita buat sekali je kan sekali je kan ha. Ha. Ha, ada ke yang nak buat saya sih so that kalau sekali je kita tetapkanlah hari apa bila sebab ha. saya takut you all um, nanti bertindih dengan kelas lain nanti boleh tak kita you all bincang dalam group uh, hari apa pukul berapa so kita buat bersama saja uh, untuk tiga kali je setakat yang saya plan lah sebab you all kata you all ada limited uh, time kan Okay, boleh, boleh ke macam tu? Alright, thank you so much. Okay, ada, ada apa-apa soalan untuk bahagian ni? Untuk yang ni ada apa-apa soalan tak? Uh, group sama semua okay ke? Ada apa-apa nak tanya saya? Okay boleh, doktor, eh? okay Alhamdulillah. Uh, so tak apa, yang penting sekarang ni macam saya pun tak ada printer tau kat rumah. So you don't need to print anything. Uh, just kalau dah buat group assignment tu, just p, uh, apa, PDF kan file dokumen tu and then upload je dekat group assignment site. Cuma practical report tu mungkin you kena ambil gambar sikit untuk data. Kalau tak pun kan you all share uh, share data kan. So you all boleh share lah. Cuma practical report tu mungkin uh, bila time lukis-lukis gambar tu you kena still um, lukis gambar and then you uh, you know uh, tangkap gambar tu masuk dalam ni. Boleh ke semua untuk dua benda ni? So that kita ada 60 kat sini. 40, 60. So boleh. untuk boleh. Saya prefer hmm. scan doktor. Ah scan lebih scan nampak. Very scale. good. Very good. Uh, okay. yeah. So ada dua cara cuma macam saya pun tak ada scanner. So apa yang kita boleh buat ialah ada satu apps eh. Saya tunjuk apps tu dekat saya punya phone. Uh, apps tu nama dia adalah cam scanner. Pernah guna ke? Ni cam scanner. So cam scanner ni dia uh, berfungsi macam PDF juga. So uh, you boleh ambil gambar and then you PDF kan eh. So sekejap eh. Alright. So you can use that untuk monitor you again organic chemistry ni bukanlah simple je. So my test is not literal pun. Okay you all kena buat sendirilah. Um, and the fact that uh, It will not be lengthy. Maksudnya macam kita punya test biasa. Uh, sama juga dengan final exam nanti. Uh, final exam open book. Saya tak sure. Uh, semua orang buat balik sempat, buat balik nota ke? 
ke semua orang belajar guna desktop je? Macam mana? Sempat doktor bawa balik buku rujukan. Okay good. Ada ada yang tak Oh, okay good. Tak bawa. Tak bawa, aduh. Kalau, so kalau aduh. Tak, tak bawa. bawa. Ya ke? Yeah. Tapi uh, nota sempat print tak? Nota sempat print tak? Nota sempat print tak? So copy ada. Sudah foto tu ada. Copy. Ya, ada nota kat my group tu tak juga kan? Um, tak apalah. Uh, kita cuba. So nanti Inilah plan saya. Um, so saya beranggapan sekarang ni kita nak merge kan. So we merge uh, ni nanti you all bagi tahu saya masa dan hari bila kita nak buat bersama-sama lah. Okay. So let me just merge everything. We akan buat satu session together eh. So kita hanya buat tiga live session. If it's necessary kalau perlu uh, we do it again together. So apa maksud week tujuh, week lapan dan seterusnya saya synchronous video dengan lecture note ni dalam my guru saya akan letak link lah ataupun video uh, yang saya teach uh, guna lecture note you all dan mungkin some exercises you can see hari ni macam mana it's going to be um, semalam ada yang pelajar tanya saya dia nak record lah so saya kata saya akan record live session ni okay so um, eh 122 dah okay 122 Um, uh, doktor tak. nak tanya Ya tanya tanya Kalau google form tu tak boleh isi macam mana doktor? Ni ni kat dalam chat ni Sebab sebab you all uh, bila dia dia di email luar Kenapa ramai student tak pakai email opsi eh? <laughs> saya tengok dalam quizzes pun banyak nama yang Oh sekejap saya bagi tahu sekejap uh, uh, Oh bukan sebab ini sebenarnya sebab you all um, Ada yang masuk tiga kumpulan eh Uh, so make sure you masuk kumpulan yang betul lah uh, Kalau tak boleh Google Form tu you can buat kat sini Letak dalam chat, letak grup mana semua ni Nanti saya akan trace balik Okay? Okay baik, okay, baik doktor, okay, thank, thank you Thank you doktor So let's go back here Okay so ada apa-apa nak tanya untuk open buat exam tak? So, so kalau you tak bawa, bawa you can uh, you know Tapi bila time tu limited Sebenarnya kalau you buat reference reference pun dia akan jadi problem jugalah Okay um, Now, uh, what, what we have look at, kita dah tengok hybridization, chemical bonding uh, Bila I letak ni, I harap that many of you already know what this is uh, Kalau tak ada idea, you kena buat more revisions lah So resonance, isomerism, stereochemistry and simple IPAC NAMI First of all, uh, so this is a recap and general revision So I will summarize and recap the important topics from previous chapters So I hope that you can or already read the notes given in my guru as well as my teachings saya sempat mengajar you all semua untuk tajuk-tajuk ni, okay uh, So hybridization example in notes via my guru eh So just to um, recap, so ingat siapa, siapa ingat SP3 tu macam mana? Siapa ingat SP3 macam mana? Uh, dia S macam uh, berapa banyak atom tu dia attach kepada member-member dia dalam Tetra hydron, betul tak? Good, good. Tetra hydron uh -huh. Very good. So bila dia pegang empat dia ialah SP3. Kalau dia pegang dua dia ialah SP SP. Kal SP, SP. Very good. Kalau dia pegang tiga SP2. Kalau pegang empat SP3. Yang ini contoh untuk SP2. So pegang tiga kan. So this is actually example dalam my guru lah. So uh, I nak you betul-betul revise this question. Uh, these things because I'm going to ask you. Yeah? Doctor, we cannot see your screen, Doctor. Oh, you cannot see my screen lah? Sorry, sorry, Doctor, to interrupt. Eh, tak apa, tak apa, tak apa. Okay je. You can't see it. Yeah, we can't see it. Aduh, macam mana? So now, can you see now? No. No? No. no Maybe, Doctor, have you have you pressed the button to no. present now? Once again? Dah, dah. Sekejap, sekejap. I represent lah. Sekejap lah. I represent. Sekejap eh. Sorry. Can you see now your my screen now? Yes. It will be okay. yours. Yes, yes. Can you right. see now? Alright. Now thank can you, see. No worries. Thank, thank you so much for the um response. Can you yes, see now here? Good. Yes, so doctor. Uh, yes, doctor. good, good. So let me draw this again. So the ini just recap saja. So because I'm going to ask you in, in your test, ah, so it's going to be there. So this is again SP3. So this some example here is um, you can see for example 
you have sp2 here because it's holding one two and three right so this is why sp3 even though it looks like this because it literally holds two hydrogen one to one carbon and another to another carbon that's why the sp3 and this carbon they hold one and two which is sp any question on this slide you can uh, ask me if you have uh, questions so kalau tak uh, saya nak you all try um, let me know how many sp carbon how many sp2 carbons and how many sp3 carbons is in this compound boleh semua boleh draw ke dalam uh, notes masing-masing and count boleh boleh yes. count and then let me know perhaps dalam group section ke apa so sp Ini just uh, revision so saya bukan nak tengok markah apa pun Macam kita buat dalam kelas Dan saya pergi setiap orang saya pergi tengok semua orang tu sama lah Okay Saya bagi masa buat sekejap Dah ada, ada yang dah ada jawapan? Okay. Okay. So, semua dah buat eh? Dah. I presume you all dah buat lah. Okay. So, let's see. Is there any SP? Is there any SP? Actually, uh, kalau you tengok literally, SP dia kena hold dua saja. Eh, I, I can hear the voice. Kejap eh. Kejap eh. Sekejap eh, I can hear voice. Sekejap eh. Uh, what is this? Oh no, ada orang jawab. Uh, check saja. Okay, okay, no worries. Okay, oh ada jawapan. Sorry, Yate. Okay. Uh, okay, where is it here? Okay. So, um, SP, no SP. SP tak ada. So, itu SP2. Okay, ada tak yang pegang? Dua. Eh, tu sorry, pegang tiga. So, satu, dua and tiga. So, we have one here which is sp2 and then we have kalau you sambung ni dia ada hydrogen hydrogen so it's whole one two P2. and three so this is another sp2 this one also is also hydrogen so you have one two and three so this is also sp2 so sp2 we have two. three one two three okay sp3 pula SP3, kalau you expand this one, dia ada hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Can you see my drawings? Yes. Yes, yes okay. doctor. So you have yes, one, doctor. two, yes. three and four. So this is SP3. Yes. Kalau yes. you expand this one, this is also SP3 because you have one, two, three and four. So another SP3 here. Uh, that's all. So we have sp3 2 carbon so you count 1 2 3 4 5 um yang ini this example is something that i haven't taught in class yet because this is a ketone ketone saya belum masuk tajuk ketone lagi tapi for asking you how many hybridization that we have i can still ask you that any question on this slide no okay good uh, ada tak lagi yang ada soalan? Kadang-kadang yang ada soalan ni dia malu-malu. Kalau dalam kelas saya boleh pergi sorang-sorang kan? That's my practice right? Because some of you don't want to ask me lah. Dia orang yang ask saya orang yang sama saja kebanyakannya. So anybody nak ask me anything here? Boleh buat eh? Saya akan tanya tau dalam test. <laughs> okay. Good. Alright. Hello. Okay good. Hello. Hello. Ya, ya, ya. Ya Tan, saya rasa Tan okay. boleh suara dia. Sekejap eh. Uh, yeah. How to count the SP2 and SP2 usually? How, how to, to count, count SP2 and SP2? There is three. 
How to count? Wow. Come again. How to count the SP2 and SP3. How to count SP2 and SP3. So, um, you, uh, you look at, okay, when I say SP, sorry. When I say SP2, sekejap ya. So, uh, let's get back to our previous slides, uh, um, previous notes. Uh. When I say SP3, okay. Uh, my Dr. Yohannes punya way of understanding this is simply when a uh, carbon is attached to four things. Okay. So you can see this one is attached to one, two, three, and four. Right? Three. So, kalau um, Kalau SP2 pula, okay, kalau SP2 pula, dia attached to, uh, let me show another huge example. Eh? So this is a, a simple example where we have two kinds of hybridization in one compound. Okay, so for these ones, okay, for these ones, uh, let me use a different color. For this one, you can see that it is sp3 because it's holding four, right? It's holding four. When it's holding four, it's sp3. However, um, hello, you let me choose uh, yeah, like ones, okay? For example, this one, it's holding one, two, and three. Because of this holding three, then it is sp2. Okay, this one is holding one, two, and three as well. Again, this is sp2. Can you see it now, Tan? Okay, so yes. for this example, then, for this example, then, you, uh, I want to ask you how many sp because sp is linear. SP is linear, that means if we go back to previous slide, this is the kind uh, of SP, yeah? Because one. it's holding one and two only. If it's holding two, then it is SP, okay? So, um, for example, let me get back to this um, example. You, I want to see this one. I ask you, what is the hybridization of this carbon? So, because of that, I see, okay, there are no more hydrogens because one carbon can only hold four hydrogens, right? Or four atoms. Carbon is maximum four atoms or four bonds. So here oh, already have four, so either one, two, and three. It's holding three. Because it's holding three, we call it as sp2 carbon. Okay? Is it okay now? Anybody else have question here? Can I move on? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, Thank yes, you for you resonance. For resonance, I'm, I'm still going to ask you a question dalam midterm test. However, it's going to be one question only. Okay, let me just let you know there will only be one question for um, hybridization. Yeah? Uh, sorry, for resonance. So, for resonance, I'm going to ask you to do it on your own. Okay, to do the revision on your own so that... Um, um, you know, it's it's not really uh, my focus lah. You can see that, uh, and but the resonance is going to be important later in in learning mechanism, especially when we come to the topic of alkene. There will be a lot of mechanism there, so I hope that you can understand um, the punya how the electron moves. I did ask uh, talk to you about this in class, okay? So, um. Let me see. Okay, untuk chemical bonding juga, molecular Lewis and line angle. Actually, I have prepared you punya midterm test. Okay, I have prepared you punya midterm test. Um, yang usual one, which means I'm going to go to a Dewan Kulia and then give you and then I'm going to mark it, right? But I couldn't do that now. So that's why uh, tak, untuk midterm test, you only, you all tak akan ada lukisan. There will not be a drawing, but I'm going to ask you the naming. Okay, there will not be a drawing but I'm going to ask you untuk nama. Okay, so I think you are quite kind of lucky lah. Kalau tidak, basically saya akan suruh you melukis. So, molecular Lewis and line angle saya dah fokus dalam kelas. So, these two I want you to do, sorry, these two I want you to do the revision on your own lah. 
Um, so I, saya akan terus kepada isomerism sebab saya rasa that will be the most challenging topic uh, untuk my previous chapters. Okay, isomerism, um, we have, uh, my, my, my large focus will be these four things, okay. We have constitutional isomer, geometrical isomer, dengan stereo isomerism which will include R and S. Okay, um, constitutional isomer ini, okay, um, is what, uh, all of this I'm going to definitely ask you in your test. Huh? So, constitutional isomer is when uh, a compound has same number of atoms, but it has different arrangement in space. Okay, different arrangement in space. Ada orang nak tanya soalan ke? Somebody switch on the speaker. Hello? Ada orang nak tanya soalan? Let me know. Tak ada? Okay. So, um, and geometrical isomer, just to recap, dia adalah these things. Okay, dia ada EZ and then cis trans. Sekejap lagi saya akan recap and then we have the bulk code EZ. of trio isomer. Okay. Sekejap ni okay ke? So, Untuk isomers, um, we will look at this, definitely going to ask, I'm going to look into all of this huh? um, And then uh, configurational, saya akan juga tanya geometrical which is cis trans EZ uh, Enantiomers only for single atom, sorry, only for single carbons I'm not going to ask you two carbons and so forth eh? And conformational, ingat lagi tak Newman and so forth? Do you still remember? My kuda? Ingat. Ingat. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. Okay. So all of this will be uh, tested. Okay. Uh, dia, dia astro isomer saya hitamkan because um, actually that is necessary for uh, organic chemistry. However, because all of you are doing basic organic chemistry, many of you are doing minor. You know, you have, I have some maths people in my class, my biology people, physics people in my class. So, uh, it's something that readable. Maksudnya, you can boleh baca. But um, to assess, I'm going to assess because so many other things that I can still look into your understanding. The major things about online assessment ataupun online study is you punya understanding, okay? So, because kita tak boleh tengok you nak meniru ke apa ke, we can't really monitor, right? I don't know if the academy is going to give me further guidelines untuk you punya open book exam nanti, tapi setakat ni pesyarah tak terima apa-apa lagi lah. Okay? So, this is, this slide is there in your notes sebenarnya. Bukan notes, dalam you punya apa? Uh, my Guru Notes lah. Uh, example of constitutional isomer eh. You have uh, C5H10. You have all of this. You have pentene, dual pentene, cyclopentene, methylcyclobutane. All of them are constitutional whereby it has same number of carbons, same number of hydrogen. Let me ask you this, okay. If I have something like this, um, if I have something like this, is it, um, is it constitutional? Say I have these ones and then I have CH3 here. Okay. And then I have another thing, CH3 kat sini. Okay, so like this. Okay, is it a constitutional isomer? Is it the same compound or is it the um, is it constitutional isomer? Yes. Okay. Uh, ada ada jawab kasih nak sama ya. Ada lagi jawapan lain? Ada yang jawapan lagi satu bukan je lah kan? <laughs> but if, if if there's people say yes, why? If uh, hmm? Still five carbons. Still five carbons. Carbon. Okay. Uh, anybody else different answer? Ada yang cakap tak tak? Is, is there anyone that doesn't agree, that disagree that this is um, different compounds? Anybody? Okay. Let me tell you that this is not constitutional isomer. Essentially, this is the same compound. Why? Because 
even though it looks slightly different even though it looks slightly different but if you count everything okay if you count everything we have one two three and four as the longest chain right and if i count from here one two three and four it's still the longest chain is four and the substituent is still sitting at carbon two carbon right two. even though even though it looks slightly different even though it looks slightly different but it is essentially the same okay it is the same boleh sebab nampak walaupun satu is going down satu is like that but it is the same compound so you have to ensure that you are recognized you will recognize which is uh, constitutional isomer which is the same compound okay anybody has question on here no doctor Okay, good. Can I move forward? If anybody has question, please interrupt me and do so. Eh? Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How to determine whether it is constitutional isomer or same compound? Yeah. Okay. So first and foremost, you have to see. For example, um, we look at this compound, these two compounds. Both of them are pentene, right? Both of these are pentene, which is, which means it has five carbons. However, Okay, if you count, okay, first of all, you have to count everything. Make sure it has the same number of atoms, same number of carbon, same number of hydrogen. If it has oxygen or nitrogen, it has to be the same as well. But the different thing is, because of the definition, is it's it's arranged differently in space. Maksudnya, the bonding sequence is dif different. So, you can see where is the double bond now. So, the double bond now is sitting at carbon 1 between carbon 1 and carbon 2. However, in this case, it is sitting at carbon 2. Okay? So, uh, the difference between this case and this case is that this one is just um, drawings looks different. But if you count everything, count number of carbon, count number of hydrogen, yes, it is, uh, it has the same number of atoms. However, it's arranged differently. Okay, uh, it's arranged differently still, but if you start counting all of them, both of them has the substituent at carbon, CH3 like that. Let me give you another example. Let me give you another example. Somebody is trying to get in. Kejap, eh? I think somebody is, oh, nobody is trying to get in. Okay, so let me give you another example here. Um, let me see. Um, for example, tadi saya guna line angle. For example, I use, I'll show you this one. Eh, kejap mana? Uh, this one. Okay. Uh. Doctor. Okay. Yeah. Can we say it is, the constitutional isomer is, it has the same compound but in different positions? Ah, uh, yeah. You, you, it, no, no, it, it, it doesn't have the same compound. Constitutional isomer, must be different compound. Or must be different compound. Yes. There is a different compound, but it has same number of atoms. Yeah, that's what I mean. Ah, okay. So, for example, if I have something like this, and if I have, um, you know, something like this, you know, essentially it is the same, right? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the position of CH3 is at carbon 2. So that's why I say um, these two are same. They are not constitutional isomer, okay? So uh, let's go to the um, projections, okay? We have uh, Sawhorse and Newman. Uh, I'm not sure if you still remember. Uh, so I harap that you still remember because I'm not going to revise all of the previous lectures that I've done. So I'm going to show you when we have Sawhorse to Newman and then Newman to Sawhorse. This is an example that I've written yesterday. Okay, um, so I, I don't know whether you still remember my CUDA. So if you still remember my CUDA, it looks like that, right? It looks like that and it might have something like this which will be Eclipse or it might be something like um, this which will be staggered. You know, if you remember the head is there, you know, the tail is here, uh, I don't know lah whether you still remember, the kaki, whatever, you know. So this is my way of uh, introducing you to Sohas and Newman. I've done that in class, I'm not going to repeat that here. 
what I'm going to show you here is that when we have sawhorse, how do we want to change it into a human perspective? Okay. Um, so um, when you have something here, I did ask you to draw, right? I asked you to draw a circle there and circle here. And then you want to put your eyes here, right? So when you put your eyes there, you can immediately see that this CH3 will be up there. And then you have hydrogen that will be there. And then you have chlorine that will be on the left side. However, the back ones, you can't see them now. So you can't see them there, all right? So, um, you know, so we have to um, anggap dia dah tak ada lah. So everything here will be erased. So, and then you put the position of hydroxy, chlorine and hydrogen on their respective position. Okay. But then when we have Newman to Sohars, this is the kind, uh, the different kind of drawing, a little bit different. But essentially it is the same as my Kuda. Okay. So when you have um, CH, uh, the, the depan like that, ingat tak saya kata, inilah mata you. So mata you berada di sini. Okay, so that's why it looks like that CH three on the top, and what is what does it mean by wedge and hatch? Okay, hatch means it's lebih dekat dengan you. This one is lebih jauh dengan you. Okay, so if you see here, chlorine is sitting there, hydrogen is on the right. Okay, so then it's looking a bit straight like that, and then because this hydrogen is sitting down. That's why it will be parallel with the CH3. So it doesn't have the wedge and hash bond. Saya dah cerita tentang wedge and hash bond ni juga dalam class previously. Okay, and then you have hydroxy there and chlorine there. Anybody has question on this slide? Saya tak dengar lagi suara kawan-kawan lain. Senyap je. No questions. No questions. Siapa yang cakap tu? Saya, saya. Saya siapa nama? <laughs> saya tak nampak. Okay. Uh, so, ya, uh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Siapa tadi? Alamak tak nak cakap dah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Geometrical isomer. Um, saya nak tengok ada ke soalan dalam Google Meet tu. Kalau ada bagi tahu saya. Oh, ada yang baru nak masuk. Hi, Iwanina. Oh, hi, Farah Natasha. Line you ada okey ke? Aku unstep dulu. Mobile dah tu. You mobile? Oh, ada, ada, ada yang jawab apa benda? Aku apa benda tadi? <laughs> Aku unstable. Unstable. Siapa tu? Tan. Tan. Apa Tan? Kalau unstable it's okay. You boleh, um, it's okay. Kalau you keluar masuk pun I can still know. Okay, so geometric isomer ada cis trans ez. So before this I taught you about cis first and then I discuss cis and trans first and then I discuss e and z. But like uh, I told you before it is essentially the same. Okay cis and z ni uh, the difference is just that uh, one has same uh, two sim two same atoms okay uh, or two same molecule and the other all four cup uh, all four atoms are different. Okay, so if we go to cis, you can, oh sorry, okay, you can see that this one, they are sitting on the same side. Same is cis, remember? Trans is opposite. So, Z, I told you because Z has different ends, so it, it will look similar to cis. Dia terbalik sikit. This one saya dah tackle in class. But let me recap about Z. Why is it like that? Okay, first and foremost, you have to tutup one side, okay, and then you tengok the two sides. Uh, if you remember cardiation about what you need to see first. You need to see the first atom that connected to the carbon. So we are discussing these carbons, right? Because we are discussing that carbon, we will look at the first atom that connected to it. First atom here is hydrogen. First atom there is oxygen. And then you compare their atomic weight. Okay. So oxygen has greater atomic weight than hydrogen. Because of that, we will um, select this as higher priority. 
Okay. The convention will again be used in RNS system. You can read. Uh, uh, so because I had limited time to teach then I know. I've been in webinar. I've been in Google Meet session like this. Kalau lama-lama, you akan ngantuk lah sebenarnya. Sebab you mengadap screen kan, you bukan mengadap saya. So, um, and then uh, puasa sama. So, puasa ni fahamlah saya pun uh, dalam fasa macam tu juga eh. And then, you have this carbon also. This carbon, you look at, don't look at the whole CH3 here. Don't look at the whole CH3 here. The most important thing is you look at the first atom that connected to your carbon. Okay, so first atom here, this one is not carbon, okay. This one is chlorine. So that is the atom that we are going to look at. In this case, we have carbon. If you see, for example, if you see both are carbons. For example, like this. If you see both are carbons, okay. If you see both are carbon, then you have to see the next carbon, uh, the next atom. On that carbon. So the next atom here will be hydrogen. The next atom here will be carbon, um, sorry, carbon juga lah. That's why this one will be E. Okay. So if you see here, the higher priority is on the same side. Because higher priority is on the same side, that's why it is Z. Okay. Anybody has question here? Okay, so you move forward. So uh, this is a comparison between trans and E. So trans simply because you have um, two atoms sitting on a uh, different side. Okay, so untuk E, untuk E, it looks like trans. But you cannot say it is trans because it has four different atoms. Okay, and then again, you do the same thing. You divide this into two. You to top one side, you look at um, between this, okay, we are discussing this carbon, you are comparing this atom and that one. So it will be uh, bromine has the higher atomic weight. Okay, and then you look at this carbon between methyl and chlorine, chlorine has higher atomic weight. Okay, so uh, saya nak tanya, ada question tak setakat ni? Sebelum saya move kepada stereochemistry, any question? No. Okay. No, doctor. So, okay, good. Okay, so saya nak move on kepada stereochemistry. Okay, um, again, all of those that fo my focus today is um, I'm going to assess you on this, on your understanding. I'm sorry that uh, we don't have, I think we have enough time actually during our face-to-face -face session to discuss about all of this. Actually, I'm sort of worried for your coming uh, uh, remaining weeks ada lebih kurang sembilan minggu because I couldn't see you. So, um, you know, um, if you have question, I don't know. So that's why uh, saya buat asynchronous sebab you all punya limited. Tak apalah. During the last session, you can let me know uh, kalau ada soalan dan sebagainya eh. So untuk stereochemistry, the most important thing that you need to, you need to know that it is not the same as constitutional isomer. It is not the same as geometrical isomer. Okay, um, where uh, the most important thing here is you have asymmetric carbon. Uh, in class, I call them as chiral carbon. Okay, and uh, we can uh, chiral carbon can be uh, you know um, assigned with a hash sign like this. This hash sign, okay, uh, not hash sign, apa ni? Asterisk. Okay, it is essentially atom with four different substituents. Kalau you jumpa atom tu ada dua hydrogen yang sama ataupun dua atom yang sama, dia bukan uh, asymmetric carbon. Dia bukan chiral carbon. Okay, so uh, for example here simply like that. You have CH3, uh, hydrogen, chlorine and bromine. All of them are different. Okay, that's why it is chiral carbon, so it has chirality. Kalau perasan saya tak tackle on meso compound, diastroma, all of that are readable. Okay, baca lah. Okay, so um, this is an example. So um, we have pentan to all. Okay, pentanol. Uh, again, untuk nama, you can see here pens, that means five carbons, 
A-N, that means it has all single bond. O-L, that means it has hydroxy. And where is the hydroxy? Is at position 2. Do you get this? So, I'm, I'm sure lah. Main ni sebab ramai kan dalam ni. So, kalau ada yang um, tak berapa jelas lagi, you can read in your notes. Ada nota you untuk tajuk IUPAC naming. Uh, you can also outsource. That means you can buka dalam uh, Google tu carilah tentang penamaan IUPAC. But essentially macam yang saya ajar sebelum ni, you tengoklah depan dia, prefix dia apa benda, you tengok suffix dia belakang apa benda, cerita dia functional group belakang tu apa and then you can determine what's in the middle. Okay, so if you've been asked to, uh, tapi saya tak minta you draw so it's okay, tapi you know kalau saya tanya how many asymmetric carbon is in pentan to all without giving you the structure, I hope that you can uh, show me berapa lah. So in this case you can see that we have four different atoms, different uh, compounds eh. You have propyl here, okay here is propyl, here is hydrogen, here is methyl and here is hydroxy. That's why it is uh, different. So I'm going to uh, do, uh, ask you to do exercise. Kau dengar je boring. Okay, ha, buatlah sekarang. Try buat, try do two chlorobutane, how many asymmetric carbons that you have? Semua orang nampak ke slide ni? Can you see this slide? Yes? No? Nampak ke? Because I, I, I nampak slide je, I tak nampak you all. Nampak doktor. Okay. Nampak doktor. Okay, buat sekejap. Berapa asimetrik carbon dalam tu? Ingat eh, asimetrik atau chiral ni mesti empat atom yang berbeza. Cuba buat sekejap. Oh, you all jawab dalam ni? Saya tak you know. Okay, tak apa, tak apa. Ada satu. Apa dia? Ada? Satu? Oh. Ya. Yeah. Satu lagi. Satu Ada jawapan lagi. lain? Haa, sekarang nampak saya kan? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ada jawapan lain? Ada ada jawab satu? Okay. So kita kan suntuk masa so let me draw you. Chlorobutane so we have butane. Alamak. So we have pointer. We have butane. So one, eh jap. One, two, three, four. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So kalau tak nampak, okay dua chloro that means here I have chloro. So this one hydrogen. This all hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Ini pun hidrogen, hidrogen. Ini CH3. So kalau you tengok, yang ini ada dua atom sama kan? Okay, ini ada tiga atom sama. Ini pun ada tiga atom sama. So the only one possible will be here lah. Betul tak? So kalau you summary kan, it will look like this. Cl, hydrogen and you have CH2, CH3 CH3. and then you have CH3 there. Yeah. So the number of asymmetric carbon here you have one. But this is an example. You can, I can give you further, you know, ridiculous uh, question like this for example and I ask you how many asymmetric carbons that you can observe there for example, you know. Uh, so get familiar you can find more dalam um, you punya uh, nota as well as you can outsource again. Uh, kalau yang tak sempat buku kan, um, yang Springer hari tu I don't know whether you can sempat download dalam tu perhaps ada example juga uh, Kalau tak you can try cari e-books Dekat uh, library sekarang dah ada e-books Try find uh, organic chemistry e-books ke kalau ada Dan kalau sempatlah biasanya e-books ni uh, Dia punya jumlah megabyte besar untuk you download, okay So uh, dalam hari tu saya minta you all lihat at puzzle 
Okay, at Puzzle punya video, saya minta you all tengok RF, Inanshuma, Diastroma, Resumic Mixture dan sebagainya. So, I don't know whether you understand those, tapi uh, yang ni saya buat simple. So, saya ada this one is called 3D Drawings. This one is called Fisher Projection. Okay, the easiest way to look at things is through Fisher Projections. Okay, so saya dah pernah sebut ni dalam kelas. I did talk to you about this in class. Um, so if you have something like this, ah, uh, so this one is of course it is asymmetric because all of these are different atoms. Okay, so um, macam mana kita nak jadikan dia fisher is true, uh, converting it uh, like this. So when you have um, like this, dia punya uh, one above that and these things dia akan menjadi their backbones okay dia akan jadi vertical lines okay the one here will be your horizontal lines okay macam mana nak tahu is that uh, you have to ensure that your lowest priority group is on the horizontal line sorry vertical line so if you get the answer it will be the final answer so again this one go back to Khan Ingol Prolog Convention you look at the first atom okay uh, kalau ada yang mula rasa penat yang dah rasa doktor ni tak habis-habis lagi uh, sabar ya saya pun dah rasa uh, a bit tired <laughs> tak apa it's okay ada yang rasa penat ke ada yang rasa dah nak muntah ke <laughs> okay hello anybody answering are you alright belum, tak penat lagi. Semangat, semangat. Semangat, semangat. tak lapa. Satu lagi kata. Ah, pukul satu lagi enam jam ni nak buka. Haa, lagi enam jam ni nak buka apa tak? Waktu tidur, saya tahu ni pukul satu waktu tidur. Korang ada rumah kan? Okey. Kau tak tidur ke? Kau tak tidur, bagusnya. Ya lah. Okey. Lepas tu. Ah, uh, okay. You look at the uh, atom eh. So, atom there, atom there and then oh, for hydroxy, you don't look together. Okay, you don't look together, you look at this like that. Ah, uh, Yang ini maksudnya saya belum cerita kalau you ada, for example, CH3 and then perhaps you ada COOH, you know, and then you have CL and then perhaps you ada uh, C ataupun you ada instead of that, you ada something that looks a bit ridiculous, like, you know, um, Sekejap ya, um, like this for example, so uh, first thing first you akan tengok dia punya uh, carbon eh, semua ni adalah carbon tapi you kena tengok the, carbon, uh, the atom next to it, nanti you kena baca lebih sikit tentang ini but I'm not going to ask you the ridiculous thing like this ah. so I'm going to ask you simple ones, just for you your further understanding, you need to understand this as well so macam mana kita nak understand kan ingo prolog if you have uh, double bonds, triple bonds and so forth. But the the easiest thing to understand kan ingo prolog is through atomic number. Okay. So like this you kena tengok dia punya, don't look at the calculative, don't campur kan lah. If you campur everything it will be bigger numbers. So if here you also look at the carbon saja. So priority will go to chlorine first and then oxygen and then carbon. So anti-clockwise will be S. Okay. Um, and then uh, that's why kalau you tengok dalam 3D also you boleh tengok dia punya sama juga 1, 2 and 3. But sometimes bila 3D akan menjadi difficult when you don't, um, you know, you punya uh, you can't, the priority, the least priority is not sitting at the back then you will have trouble untuk 3D. Okay, because you need to pusing-pusing which the experiment kita tak sempat buat. Okay, experiment one tu tak sempat buat. So I was thinking untuk guna 3D punya ni lah and then I figure, I have to figure something out untuk experiment one tu nanti. Okay, now we have this one. Uh, another example, tapi ini tadi you buat 3D kepada fissure, this is the same also. 3D kepada fissure but it looks a bit different. See yang ini dia punya head, dia punya wedge ni kat depan and then hash kat belakang, this one kat belakang kan? Uh, this one kita tengok the hash kat belakang and then the wedge kat sini. So cerita dia adalah sama. The whole thing here will be your vertical line. 
Okay. And then yang bahagian ini will be your horizontal line. Okay. And then you will assign the priority. If you look at the 3D and then you want to assign the priority, it's going to be a bit difficult because the lowest priority is hydrogen but it is now facing the front. If we have the 3D punya molecular modeling, if we have 3D punya molecular modeling, kita boleh pusingkan dia. Tetapi kadang-kadang to those people that are not visual students, it will be difficult for you to see. That's why I always ask my student to convert 3D projection to Fisher projection like this. Okay, you can just ambil je the whole thing there sebagai dia punya backbone and then just copy whatever that's there. For example, COOH will sit it on the left so you will letak dia pada belah kiri. And then the highest priority will be on bromine of course because it's the highest atomic weight. And then you have um, C but then both of them are C but this one is connected to oxygen. In fact, it is a double bond oxygen. Okay, so the lowest priority is at horizontal. Ingat eh, saya cakap tadi, lowest priority must sit on vertical. Bila you dapat S, that will be your final answer. But if it's sitting on the horizontal, if it's sit on the horizontal, walaupun you uh, kira dia adalah sebenarnya uh, R, okay, because it is clockwise, tetapi your final answer should be S. This is the easiest way, the easiest way to understand stereochemistry. Kalau tak, memang susah nak faham. Any questions so far? Yes, stop. Okay, saya dah dekat dengan kamera kan? Okay, saya kena belakang sikit. <laughs> Any question here? If I ask you, can you try and buat? Uh, yeah, D try and buat this one maybe. Let me know what is, uh, is it R or is it S? Doctor? Doctor yeah. I, sorry to yeah. interrupt. It's I'm, okay, yes. I'm still blur with, uh, because just now you mentioned the 3D drawings, right? I'm still uh -huh. not get how to determine the vertical line and the horizontal line. Perhaps can you elaborate a little bit more sure. so that I can and everyone okay. must understand better? Thanks, Doctor. Yeah, sure, sure. So let me draw. Huh? So this is a blank blank canvas. Okay, let me draw for you. Okay. So um, usually when we discuss about 3D, you use a 3D drawing. Okay. A 3D drawing is uh, usually have chiral carbon in the middle. Uh, of course, this is just focusing on one single chiral carbon. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the two chiral carbons and so on and so forth. So this is, I'm going to do a simple one, the simplest version. Okay, so usually untuk 2D, kita akan buat all straight lines. Tapi untuk 3D, we have something like this. Okay, this is called wedge bond atau you know, wedge bond because it is all black like that and then you have wedge like this. Okay, what does it mean? Kalau uh, sesiapa ada dekat rumah dia, uh, you can ada plasticine ke play-doh, adik ke apa ke, you can ambil two sticks, okay, you can ambil two sticks um, and then you can um, buat dia dalam bentuk macam pyramid, okay. So you have one is facing up. Uh, I don't know whether you can see my, uh, let me pick uh, my pencil and pen. Alamak, jatuh semua. Okay. So, uh, like this. Kalau you ada three like this, can you see me? I'm doing this or is it dark? Okay. So, you have three like this and one is facing up. So, you can ambil two sticks and then you can play with this. Okay. Uh, try play with this. Okay. So, um, you have that and then I'm going to write whatever, you know, whatever uh, um, let me, sebab, okay, it's okay. So, I ada H kat sini and ada OH kat sini. So, essentially all of them are different compounds, okay. Yang saya maksudkan horizontal and vertical is that, kalau you ada macam ni, sometimes, kalau, you know, if I draw you something a, uh, a bit easier, for example, I draw you, um, I change this um, lowest priority group, you know, instead of CH3 kat sini, I letak hydrogen for example, so I bubur CH3, eh, sorry, I bubur you know hydrogen kat sini, ni tak ada eh, so CH3 kat sini, senang lah sebab low priority kat belakang and then you just tengok kat depan je. So this will be one, two and three. So the answer will be um, S. Tetapi, tetapi, uh, tetapi if I go, alamak, alamak kejap eh, 
if I go to erase uh, all ink macam mana tadi erase uh, all ink on slide so tapi tadi saya lukis pada you um, you know like that eh sekejap ah, tak apalah you know like this and then like this and then CH3 CL OH um, H Okay, horizontal is you are going to take apa yang ada di atas. Okay, apa yang ada di atas letak dulu siap-siap. And then OH, OH will be up breaking. there. Same, don't change anything. Okay, same, don't change anything and then you will take the wedge bond is the one yang tail, maksudnya di belakang. So that will be again the same vertical lines. Okay, you will put CH3 here. Okay. Um. Ya, yeah, oh. yeah. ada soalan? Boleh nampak? Boleh. Okay, so kat sini, kat sini sekarang, kat sini sekarang ialah horizontal line, you know, melintang. So you will sort of draw a curve like that so you can see. Um, horizontal lines, you can see wedge board. Imagine somebody is hugging you. Like, you know, um, so the, the hands is facing forward. I don't know whether you can see me doing this, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, you can see that, right? So, H yeah. will... Doctor. Yeah, yeah, soalan. Hmm? Kenapa CH3 kat bawah ada? Kenapa CH3 kat bawah? Sebab, uh, sebab kita yeah. nak sekarang ni kita nak tukar daripada 3D kepada fissure. Okay, hmm. kalau kita tak, kalau katalah saya tak letak CH3 kat bawah eh. Katalah saya tak letak CH3 kat bawah. Okay. So kita letak benda lain dulu. Okay, kita letak benda lain dulu. Kita letakkan, yang ini saya kata kita letakkan, okay kita tengok kat sini. So kita letakkan hidrogen duduk sebelah kiri. Okay, chlorine is sitting on the right. So stage tiga nak duduk mana lagi? Duduklah kat sini. Menjawab ke jawapan you? <laughs> Boleh ke? Siapa yang tanya soalan kat saya tadi? Bila saya akan see the screen, your screen. I can see the powerpoint slide je. Tadi apa? Sebab stage tiga tu kan? CH3 tu jauh dengan kita Dato' eh? Ha betul CH3 tu jauh dengan kita. Kalau buat pen saya tadi ni, okay katalah saya ada macam ni kan. So uh, you akan nampak saya daripada depan. So katalah ini ada CH3. Can you see this? So CH3 will be behind. That's why your eyes will be there. CH3 behind. So uh, ambil dalam diri sate. Dan ni mungkin makan satu kan. Jadi sate ke, batang aiskrim ke, rating kayu, rating kayu kat luar pun boleh juga. Ambil empat ranting and then try uh, lekatkan dengan gabus ke, just be creative. You know, you can post me your picture of doing this creative thing using the 3D and understand. Okay. So boleh nampak ke sekarang the people that ask me kenapa dia horizontal dan vertical tadi? Boleh doktor, boleh. Okay. Yes doktor. Thanks doktor. Alright, good. So, what is the answer for this? Cuba buat dah. Okay, so sambil-sambil you buat, uh, ada what is the answer? Ada yang uh, jawab dia either R or S sajalah. So, uh, berapa ramai dapat R? Berapa ramai dapat S? Uh, I think I'm, I'm talking by myself. So, I'm going to go back to Google Meet and see how many. Oh, we have 47. So, um, ada, ada dua orang dah tinggal. Kita, Okay, dapat apa? R. R. Okay, ada jawapan lain? Of course lah jawapan lain ialah S saja kan? Tapi ada tak orang dapat S? Oh ada, okay ramai yang jawab R, R, R. Okay. Okay. So, ada saya, 
Eh, tu dua tu. Ha? Dua S. <laughs> ada yang jawab S? Okay, tak apa kita buat sama-sama. It's okay. Tak ada salah, tak ada betul pun. Sekarang bila, because saya buat live macam ni kan, I can, saya tak boleh pergi sorang-sorang, okay? Uh, saya tahu ramai yang, um, uh, I, because this is my, dif, my kekurangan of doing this like, de- dengan macam ni dengan you all. I can't, kalau you all ingat, saya selalu pergi kepada you all sorang-sorang-sorang kan. This, that's my way of helping everybody. But by doing this, I couldn't. So, Kena buat inisiatif sendiri lah eh. Jangan malu-malu eh nak tanya soalan sebab saya tak boleh nak pergi sorang-sorang. Okay. Inilah masanya kalau tak faham. Selama je cakap doktor tak faham you know. So I can explain further. Okay so we go back this, this here. Alright. Okay so if I go like that. My CL is up there. Bubuhlah CL kat sini. Okay and then you ambil this whole thing there. OH is on the left and hydrogen is on the right and then CH3 nak letakkan mana lagi, CH3 tak kat sini lah. Sebenarnya you boleh understand this as your backbone. This will be your tulang belakang. So um, you berbual dia punya priority, this will be one, two and three. So one, two and three, this is apa ni, and T. So this is S however, lowest priority is on the vertical side That's why it is R. Very well done. Ramai hmm. jawab R eh? Okay. Kalau ada yang jawab S. In fact, kalau hmm. ada yang tak faham lagi. This is now the time untuk you buat revision. Okay. Uh, will um This will not R and S through isomerism dan semua-semua kita belajar awal-awal ni. Dia akan jadi basic saja untuk the further the next chapters. Okay. So setakat ni semua okay kat sini. Okay doktor. Alright, good. So, actually saya prepare sampai sini aja. Oh, no, no. I have simple IUPAC naming. Oh, mak ada lagi? Uh, ada soalan? Ya, nak cakap apa? Yes. How to determine S and R. Tadi punya macam saya blur pula. Blur. Oh, okay. Ah, ah. So, macam ni. Saya pun doktor. Okay, blur. Okay. So, uh, hmm. setakat convert daripada 3D oh, kepada Fisher dah faham dah? Eh. Yes. Faham dah. Yang tu dah faham. Yang R dan Yang S tu dah faham. faham. Okay. okay. Kalau macam tu saya go back to gambar saya yang ni. Okay. If I go back here. Uh, ingat tak EZ tadi? EZ tadi. Okay. Uh, kalau saya pergi kepada let me kejap eh. Saya tambah satu slide kat sini so that saya boleh conteng further. Okay. So kalau saya tambah satu slide kat sini. Ingat tak EZ tadi? EZ tadi adalah something like this, right? Dia ada hydrogen. Uh, kenapa saya go back here? Because it is the same. Okay? I ask you to divide it into two and then see, uh, compare dia punya um, priority. Sebab kita akan menggunakan priority yang sama yang dipanggil sebagai Kahn Ingo Prolog Convention. So Kahn Ingo Prolog Convention ni uh, dia cakap kita lihat pada carbon in perspective. So the one that we are talking here is this carbon, this particular carbon, right? So to that carbon, what is the which, what is the atom attached to it? So atom atom yang ber, berdekatan dengan dia atau atom yang berkait dengan dia is chlorine dan hydrogen. So Kahn Ingo Prolog ni menekankan ialah atom that connected to the carbon in discussion has to have higher atomic weight. Okay? Dan dia bukanlah uh, summary weight. It is not apa tan apa maksud dia macam dia bukanlah campuran. Okay. So macam ini hydrogen atomic weight kita tahu one. Okay and chlorine atomic weight berapa? 17 ke 35. But it's definitely higher than hydrogen. So because of this chlorine will be uh, our uh, higher priority, highest priority. And untuk belakangan ni pula You don't look at tiga campur dua belas. So yang ni lima belas, yang ni tujuh belas. Uh, bukan macam tu eh. You don't look at it like that. You look at the atom that attach to it. So atom that attach to it, carbon dan oksigen. Oksigen adalah enam belas dan carbon dua belas. Therefore this one is highest, higher priority. So because of this, the higher priority is the one that sit on the opposite side. Because opposite side then it is E. This same convention will be again used in R and S system. Tadi semua orang dah faham tentang uh, 3D kepada Fisher. 
So let me just draw an example. So this example, okay, katalah saya letak example where like that, where I have um, hydrogen, the lowest parity um, dekat bawah. Okay, dekat horizontal line. Apakah maksud ini? Maksud ini ialah bila saya draw di dalam bentuk 3D, it will look like this. Hydrogen is at the back. So lowest priority is at the back, right? Okay. So tadi saya ajar daripada 3D kepada fissure. Now is fissure to 3D. Same thing, okay. So this one will be number four. Number one will of course be chlorine. Okay, number two between oxygen and carbon. Sama kan case macam ni, oxygen dan carbon. Okay, so this one will be number two, this one will be number three. Because of this, your priority goes like that. Dan dia adalah, ini clockwise ke anti-clockwise? Clockwise, so it is R. Clockwise. Let me give you an example where it is, um, it is not clockwise. So, um, no, not clockwise. What I mean is, let me give you an example where we have lowest parity is at there. So, for example, I have COOH and then I have CH2, CH3 here. Okay, highest parity. Okay, kalau you count everything together. If you count everything together, this will be bigger. Right, you have 16, 16, 32, 34, 12, 12, 12, 46 atomic weight, uh, molecular weight. And this one molecular weight is just 17, right? But, so then you kata inilah higher priority than this one. No eh? No. You look at this atom. Okay? Because of the first atom, oxygen, ada higher molecular weight, uh, sorry, higher atomic weight, then this will be priority number one, this will be priority number three, number two, this will be priority number three. Okay, between carbon, this carbon and this carbon juga, you can see, uh, you can do further reading but essentially this one has higher priority because it is connected to oxygen. This one is connected to hydrogen. So, because of that, then we have, this will be priority four. Because of that, then we can assign their priorities like this. One, two, three. So, this is apa? Clockwise ke anti-clockwise ni? Anti-clockwise. Ini clockwise ke anti-clockwise ni? Anti-clockwise. Tetapi ingat saya kata tadi lowest parity must be on the vertical sorry uh, vertical line. Okay because it is the ini ialah the easiest way to understand. Okay because it is sitting on the uh, horizontal line. Kalau you buat 3D, oh. kalau you buat 3D untuk drawing ini you boleh nampak eh yang this one is CH2 CH3 if you do a 3D, this one is um, hydrogen, uh, this one is COH for example. Okay, so lowest parity is at the front. That's why kita kena tukar. So kalau fissure, nampak je lowest parity dekat uh, horizontal line, daripada line yang melintang, you have to change it. So your final answer is R. Do I answer your question? Dah boleh nampak ke sekarang? Okay, yes. So that means mm -hmm. the lowest priority is always the, Yes, yes, yes. Low. That. So that means the lowest priority is always Ah, uh, Yes, vertical. the lowest priority always at vertical for your final answer to be confirmed. However, however, there will be time. For example, the 3D compound where you have, for example, this 3D compound. You know, this 3D compound, for example, you have, or this 3D compounds, my question, you know, where you have the lowest priority is at the front. Because it's at the front, then because of that, your um, hydrogen or lowest priority is on the horizontal line. Okay, kalau, kalau those of you that feel my uh, fissure is difficult, you adalah orang visual. That means you can, what, you know, change you punya hydrogen ini kepada ke belakang. That means you want to change this into like hydrogen there and then CH3 here and then you punya OH kat sini. Uh, sorry, uh, you know OH there. So feel free to do so. Okay, but I always feel that fissure is the best way to understand. Okay, 
uh, if you have something like this, uh, you know, you can definitely see and immediately see that this is R. Okay. Kalau yang um, orang yang visual, dia boleh turun sampak lah. Uh, kalau tak, tukar kepada picture. Okay. So, setakat ni okay. Uh, yang tadi soalan tanya saya, siapa yang perempuan tadi? I couldn't hear you, the girl. Uh, sorry, doktor. Ya. Yeah. Mengganggu. Saya nak tanya, uh -huh. macam mana kita nak tentukan daripada 3D kepada fissure tu, uh, uh -huh. dia punya kompaun tu dekat sebelah kiri ataupun kanan. Sebab kalau macam yang doktor tunjuk tadi kan yang uh, garisan putus-putus tu CH3 kan. Uh -huh. So that, that compound will be at dekat bawah. Tapi uh -huh. OH tu uh, dia tebal dan macam mana kami nak tahu kalau yang tebal tu dia ada dekat sebelah kiri ataupun kanan. Sebab kalau macam yang Doktor tunjuk tadi, dia akan uh -huh. jadi S first tapi akan jadi R bila ditukar sebab dia punya yang lowest priority dekat horizontal. Tapi uh, bila yang, yang soalan yang doktor bagi kami buat tadi. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sekarang ni kan yang OH dengan, uh, uh, tak yang CL dengan CH3, kita uh -huh. dah dapat confirmkan atas dengan bawah kalau jadi uh -huh. fissure. Uh -huh. Tapi CH3 dengan H uh -huh. Uh, macam mana kami nak confirmkan dia ada dekat sebelah kiri ataupun sebelah kanan? Oh, okay. Uh, that's why you kena letak mata. Ah, Sekarang ni, kalau you buat dia 3D, you akan nampak sebab dia because uh, yang yang ini adalah belakang kan? Because yang ini adalah belakang, so of course you punya mata akan letak kat sini. So, bila mata letak kat situ, you buat you punya perspektif sendiri, you akan nampak OH adalah belah kiri. Oh, so yang kiri apa dan kanan, yang membezakan. Ah, so, yes, yang membezakan. Sebab kalau you letak kat sini, mata you, kalau letak sini mata you, you tak nampak apa-apa pun. Sebab hmm. because the H3 ni, dia adalah di belakang. That's why very important for you to note yang mana yang belakang. Which one is apa? Facing away from you. Which one is ah. facing away from you yang jauh tu. So, you can try again macam saya kata, the best way to do this is you have a 3D So, all modeling in front of you. You can build this. Okay. Uh, in fact, nanti buatlah guna ranting kayu ke guna you punya creativity and then you can share to me apa yang you buat. Okay. Sebab itu you nampak bila you letak mata tu, uh, you nampak okay yang mana kiri, yang mana kanan. Uh, do I answer you? Ah, uh, Ya, yeah, Doktor. Thank you, Doktor. Sama. Okay. So, dah habis bahagian ini saya masuk simpat e-pack ni ni sebenarnya. Uh, bila saya buat dalam kelas, I can see many of you that understand. Uh, daripada uh, methane kepada decane. Okay, um, so yang ini adalah just an example uh, that I found um, using when we have more substituents. Um, IUPAC naming ni sebenarnya is a recap thing whereby some of you already learn during you punya STPM ataupun uh, metric ataupun diploma. Uh, so um, saya nak you all read this. Okay, you can uh, screenshot This one, okay, uh, and then see ya. Yeah. So, uh, the Ayupai punya uh, cerita adalah you have to find, ingat tak apa, longest chain first. Okay, the longest chain and then um, kalau dalam ini tak ada masalah lah because all alkin. Tapi kalau dia ada functional group lain lain, you have to tentukan yang mana functional group dan sebagainya and then you kena tengok substituent lah. Okay, so Contohnya, in this case, you have trimethyl decane. So, we have decane that means 10. So, we have methyl at 1, 2, 3. Because it's 3, we put tri and then we put the position. You cannot write 1, 2, 3, 4 kat sini. Cannot lah. Eh? Sebab it prefer the total number must be less. Okay, so in this case, hexane Y, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the longest chain. And then you have ethyl here. And then methyl there, okay. That's why you letak and then well, importantly you kena lihat alphabetical. It is uh, selain daripada tu dia tengok alphabetical. Saya nak ini you all kena buat self-study juga banyak. Okay, kena buat self-study. Ini sebenarnya revision. Um, sahaja I give you many examples here. Uh, you can um, try and read lah. Okay. Anyone has question here? Ada tutorial ke doktor? Tutorial? Uh, tak ada pula. Um, tetapi um, if you want uh, exercises, you can always go to uh, Google and type, um, you know, exercise uh, naming alkane for example. Um, I think dalam my uh, 
my guru notes dekat tajuk alkin depan-depan tu ada some exercises. This one is quite good exercise. Uh, what you can do uh, for this to become a tutorial is that you can uh, copy all the compounds, you know, in your notes ke, A4 paper ke, whatever and then pergi makan and then pergi mandi and then come back, try buat without the answer. And then you see whether you got a correct one. Boleh ke? Sort of self-study. Uh, because um, I can give you a lot of tutorials, you know. I have uh, my book here, I have my book here. But then um, some of you will do it, some of you don't. So I feel because of this um, PKP thing uh, and you have plenty of time uh, on your hands, so maybe you can do a self-study of sort. That means, um, you know, use your internet wisely lah. Um, if uh, this will be a challenge, you can always find the ebook to help you lah. Okay? Is it okay? Everybody's okay here? Ada tak soalan lain? Ada yang, oh, ada yang rumah dia dah guru. Apa dia? Okay, no problem. No problem here. Yeah. Okay. So, untuk yang ini juga, I hope that this will be okay. Um, Alright, uh, yang ini um, dia, the difference between this and the previous one is just yang ini ada halogen group. So you can screenshot this screen um, and then uh, understand dia punya, you know, you can firstly kira what is it pentane. Uh, is pentane because uh, the longest chain is pentane. Pan is 5 carbon, A and E is a functional group. And what is there? You have substituent iodo and ethyl. Uh, remember for alkyl halide or the presence of ha um, halogen, you will note that as substituent. Dia bukanlah uh, main functional group. Okay, because the priority is lower than even alkene. So, um, I give you many examples here. You can try and buat. Uh, again, if you want to do this as tutorial, okay, don't worry. Eh? For coming... Um, for coming lectures on week 6 and forward, saya memang akan berikan you exercise. Because that will be my means of uh, attendance. That means semua orang kena berikan jawapan exercise. It will be not a lot. Maksudnya uh, sikit saja exercise uh, untuk you all buat sebagai uh, rujukan di rumah. Okay. So other than that is when we have, um, you know, uh, for example, these two methyl, dimethyl and we have bromo. Uh, so you have to see lah. Why is it B? Why is it di? Okay. Uh, di doesn't count as you punya uh, alphabets and things like this. You can further read. Okay. Um, uh, and lastly, simple uh, single uh, bond for alcohol saja. Okay. So, ethanol untuk two carbon at. Ingat saya ajar you all sebelum ni. Tengok at. You know, it's two carbons all sebab dia ada functional group OH and sebab dia adalah single carbon saja. Okay. Oh ada something, ada 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 sekejap eh. Somebody said something. Ada bunyi kat notification saya. Why? Oh. Nurzuk me, welcome Nurzuk me. You just come in. Okay. So um, that is all. Saya nak you all screen cap this and then try. Buat. Okay, so uh, sebenarnya saya itu saja saya punya live recap. Kalau ada apa-apa you can ask me. Sekejap lagi saya nak tunjuk jadual pada you all. Jadual kita punya week 6 sehingga week 14. Okay, um, I was told that some of you has uh, ada some lecturer buat juga kelas uh, kan. So, Eriska bagi tahu saya, some lecturer buat kelas. So, tapi saya, this is will be my last class before we'll see one another on week 6. Okay. Um, so, inilah saya punya cadangan. Setakat ni dah ada ke lecturer yang plan bila nak buat last session dengan you all? Belum lagi. Belum. Okay. Belum, Belum doktor. Uh, sebenarnya, Belum ya? Okay. Sebenarnya pada awal tadi saya buat ini untuk ikut tar, uh, ikut ni macam ni. Saya ikut waktu untuk you all, waktu kelas you all. Okay. So, sebab saya uh, actually 
pusat pembangunan akademik pun minta lecturer untuk organise macam itulah sebab kemungkinan akan bertindan dengan jadual yang lain. Uh, tetapi uh, saya rasa ini pun macam ni pun okey. Saya buat untuk semua orang and then I monitor you punya attendance. Okay. So um, yang lain-lain ini adalah bukan live session. Maksudnya you all tengok video je. I don't know. Um, sebenarnya saya rasa macam okey juga kalau saya mengajar macam ni kan. Macam sebab saya boleh dapat live maklumat pada you all dan saya boleh mengajar macam dalam whiteboard yang saya buat. Tapi kalau it's better sebab ramai yang kata limited internet dan sebagainya tak apalah kita buat asynchronous. Ini pun hari ni study 120 lebih. Ada beberapa kawan dalam uh, berapa orang tadi yang memang tak dapat datang lah. So 134 lebih kurang 10 orang lebih saja. So tak apalah sebab tu saya rancang begini. Uh, so untuk week 6 sampailah week 13 ni adalah benda yang sama. Bukan sama maksudnya dia punya konsep sama saja. You have naming, you have reaction and synthesis. And then a little bit of mechanism. Agak worry bagi pihak saya sebab I cannot see you. Uh, so I don't know whether you are going to study ke tak study ke kan. So all those perhaps saya akan masukkan either dalam add puzzle ataupun dalam my guru. Saya rasa saya masukkan dalam my guru lah. Which one you prefer? Saya rasa saya masukkan my guru and then exercise pun dalam my guru juga. Um, for the doctor. Yeah. For the recap, can doctor upload to uh, upload to my guru so we okay. can. Okay. Okay. Uh, ni sebab saya mahu record nanti saya uh, dah render semua. InsyaAllah saya akan masukkan lah. Okay. Uh, ada kejap eh. Dia ada banyak chat. Uh, uh, you all boleh borak dengan saya sekarang nak scope berapa apa ni dia dot je scope nak 8 kali cukup lah tu cari kat airdrop apa benda ni paradise school lah sun hope please okay apa you all cakap ni tak faham <laughs> eh let me know zoot boot camp apis aja benda ni <laughs> itulah sebab saya tak nak masukkan dalam group whatsapp korang ni belum apa-apa dah cakap pasal game eh apa? Dia orang sepang pasal game. Apa? Game tu doktor. Dia orang sepang pasal game. Dia orang sepang pasal game. Tak ada yang fikir lah. Game je. Apa ni? PUBG eh? PUBG. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Boleh lah. Eh, hey, semua orang dah isi attendance eh? Okay, sebenarnya saya nak takat tu je. Hmm, tak ada cerita lain pun. Uh, saya nak class rap Zikri, Eriska dengan Ezani eh, ada tak kat sini? Is it? Okay, saya nak stop sharing lah so that I can see all of you. Ada eh? Zikri Ariska dengan uh, ni so that. Okay, okay. So nanti you all bincang dengan aku masing-masing. Bagi tahu kat saya bila uh, ada apa-apa lagi tak? Kalau tak ada kita boleh urgent the meeting. Ada apa-apa lagi? Lastly. Okay, thank you doctor for responding. Thank you. Okay, siapa belum buat uh, attendance, you can uh, buat attendance kat sini. Okay, thank you. Um, ada apa lagi? Tak ada. Korang ni, you all ni dah pernah jumpa ke satu sama lain online? Dah ada pernah kelas sama-sama eh? Ke ni baru first time? First time, first doctor. Time. Oh. First time. First time. Ni first time. Oh, first time. First time. First time. First time. Oh. Hello to one another. Pura-pura lah saya tak ada. <laughs> Sebab tu sampai game pun discuss kat sini kan. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much. You can see it doesn't, kalau you tak buka punya video, it doesn't use much internet sebenarnya. Dalam five, five uh, berapa kilobyte ke? Saya pernah buka streaming kan uh, yang, bukan saya tak pakai streaming pun. I use also my phone. So, um, it doesn't uh, involve a lot lah if you tutupkan video. Alright. So, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to use another apps like WebEx, such as WebEx, because nanti macam terkat 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 macam tu. Um, ah, uh, tapi I will look into that surely. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. thank you. Uh, berapa orang Sabah? Sabah. Anybody rap from Sabah? Sabah. Hi, Sab Doctor. Sabah. Sabah. Hi. Quarantine online. Sabah. Hai. Quarantine online. Aduh, hai. Ada yang kat campus? Siapa ni, Mirva? You kat campus eh? <laughs> Berapa orang kat kampus? Uh, huh? Berapa orang kat kampus? Mirwa lagi siapa Mirwa? Siapa kat kampus lagi? Home okay. quarantine online class. Home quarantine online. Okay thank you. Selamat hari raya. 
Uh, selamat, 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 selamat,